Sexual perversion encouraging dispersion of children taken out of school while they were still learning. Now all that she learns from are burns that are purging her youth and innocence cuts deeper than a surgeon. Many times she is resold as a virgin to middle-aged men for a fraction of their earnings. But they're victims too. Caught up in their burning and yearning for validation and the lust that is urging. Her stomach is turning. She's had hundreds of guys but the horrors of the first time are constantly returning. She thinks of her sister. A mental aversion. The only thing left in a mind bank that's somewhat encouraging. That and a teddy bear that's waiting at home, adopted by her sister now that she is long gone, she remembers the times when he would lie down in bed with her, right there next to her. Didn't need to have sex with her. Didn't need to undress for her. Well, he was already naked. If you don't count his fur in his belly that was painted. And that's the last time she really felt warmth penetrating. And he would stay up all night and watch her snore as he raided. So he would get up real early and talk and sip tea. And what the hell am I doing here? I'm only 13. Ain't I supposed to have dreams, some sense of being, a sweet 16 with a storybook theme? Actually, I ain't asking for much. I don't want to be a queen. I just want when you look at me not to think I'm unclean. Even a please or a thank you will boost my esteem. Sometimes, I get yelled at for lying dead fish. I guess I'm floating downstream. It's either this, or I resist, sir. There's no in between. See, what this man doesn't know or chooses not to believe is that I'm by no means here by my own means. See, I kicked and I screamed, everything in between, but my hands were too frail and my legs were too lean. When your pre deep in voice makes too soft of a sound, and your wrists are so small that they're easily bound, there's no choice but submit as you're forced to the ground and bite back the lips that would cry to be found. Each day I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. But I close my eyes to hide at least one sense from the trauma. The other four senses sense that something ain't right, but the rest of me knows that it's senseless to fight. So she sits there, in her sex defiled, bug infested, fluid stained, heatless, sheetless bed, which would better be teams a workplace instead. And in the sickest of twists, if this doesn't persist, she'll be even worse off because she will not be fed. And she stares at the ceiling. It's dim shade of pearl. And she wonders what's left she could give to this world. See, it's given her a number and taken her name. It's taken her innocence and given her shame. It's taken her freedom and given her chains. It's ripped out her heart and blew out her flame. It's gave her disgust to all she became. It's given her hunger and eats at her frame. As she lies on that bed in a bare broken curl, all that's left is a frame of a very young girl. <laughs>